Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Discord for gaming so you can use Discord while you're playing the games without affecting the performance as much as you can. I hope this video helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is opening up your Discord. And once you're right over here, you can go to the settings button right over here and then scroll down until you find the app settings. Over here, you'll find appearance. And for the first thing, change it to dark mode. If not already, dark mode is best for using Discord. However, the performance difference is negligible between light and dark, but I like dark one better. After that, go over to accessibility and then over here, you'll find something called reduced motion. You have to make sure that this is turned on and this will ensure that any effects and emojis which are animated will be turned off and you can only view them if you're hovering your mouse over them. This will make sure that Discord is not utilizing your PC's resources to animate those unusual things in the background. And once again, you also have to disable automatically play GIFs when Discord is focused. You will only play GIFs when you click on it or you hover your mouse over it. And once that is done, it will be set automatically. Before moving on, I want to introduce you all to Aesis Voice Wave, a simple yet amazing voice changer that uses AI to change your voice on the go so you can prank your friends, go to voice chat and games and even enjoy a lot of things on streaming. You can download it from the link in the description below for free and the interface looks like this it is really really simple it has a lot of options you can customize your voice as you want add sound effects to your voice to make it sound more like a beach day or a busy city day and you can also adjust the sound volume it also helps you to hear yourself so you can customize your voice in a way that you want yourself to look like it has a microphone mute or unmute button and a voice changer toggle button right over here you can simply select any voice that you want i'll simply do it right away so if i want to change my voice let's say to elon musk i'll simply click on it and it will take a few moments to initialize the ai engine you can start using all of these sounds by simply clicking on it and as soon as i click on the charmed voice i have an option to set my volume pitch and timber if i take the pitch a little bit down you can see my voice is sounding more deeper so this is mature male student. And here is Paimon from Genshin Impact and you guys can see here I sound like. Once again, I really like the quality of the audio that this application provides. And you can check out a lot more features by yourself by simply going to the link in the description below and downloading this for yourself. Thanks to Aesis for sponsoring this video and let's move ahead with the video. Head over to voice and video settings right over here and then scroll a little bit down until you find advanced section. Make sure that you use the Open H264 video codec provided by Cisco Systems and in hardware acceleration, make sure to turn both of these things on. This will make sure to use GPU to ensure that your CPU resources are free whenever you are using Discord. On the bottom, you'll also find screen share settings. You have to make sure to enable all three of them and debugging should be turned off. Then head over to notifications and make sure that all of the notification is turned off. This doesn't affect the performance of your PC, but again, those unwanted pop-ups and the notification sound itself is really, really bugging whenever you're playing the game. Then in the Windows settings, you'll find something called Open Discord, and this will make sure that Discord is turned on whenever your PC is booted up, and you do not really want that. You only want Discord to start when you want to use it, and for that, I recommend you guys to turn this thing off. Next is right under the advanced section over here. You have to make sure that developer mode is turned on and hardware acceleration is turned on as well. This will make sure to use GPU to make your Discord run smoother and it will take off a lot of resources from your CPU and shift it towards your GPU which will make sure that Discord is running smoothly without consuming a lot of resources. Right beneath that in the activity settings over here, you'll see something called game overlay. You have to make sure that this is turned off. Game overlay is the huge FPS impactor right over here. And if you disable it, it will make sure that Discord overlay does not opens up when you're playing the game. And it will keep Discord minimized in the background or you can only use voice chat or some things in the game. That will make sure that Discord is using less resources and it is less active on your screen. And it will prioritize your game on top of Discord if that makes sense. And that will give you better FPS in the games as well. Once that is done, you can simply escape to close this thing out. And that is done for all of the Discord settings that you can do from the application. 
Next step is disabling background applications and this will cause Discord some performance issues but it will not impact your application or your voice chat and to do that you have to search for local group policy editor simply open this thing up and once you're over here you have to go down to administrative templates windows components app privacy and you'll some find something called let windows apps run in the background simply double click to open this thing up and once you're here click on enable to enable this policy and default for all application should be set to force deny click on apply and ok this will reduce the number of applications running in the background saving you a lot of cpu resources and again giving you better fps in general once that is done you can simply close it out and that is it for all of the best settings i hope this video helps you out if it does make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button as it really helps me grow the channel if you're new around here and you have not yet got the channel membership, you can get the channel membership to support me out as it really encourages me to make more awesome guides like this. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.